Morning everybody. It's a whopping 6 degrees Fahrenheit out there this morning. I do not want to go outside right now. Um, 7 o'clock in the morning. And that is cold. It was going to get colder yet this week, I think. But at least look how nice it is inside. 72 degrees. Guys, it is getting colder and colder instead of warmer as the day progresses. Oh, well, it's only been an hour. I have uh, I'm processed the video and it's saving right now. I use uh, Wondershare Filmora and I just finished processing the day's video this morning and then I'm hoping to get that up live to you right away. I just opened the window and we have a thick ice inside our house. This is ice. This is thicker. Look at that. We have ice in the house. So this window is definitely a weak point. The other windows get condensation on them, but I've got to put, I've got to build a frame outside and get a plexiglass sheet or even plastic I would think would help and put some um, weather sealing around and push the frame in up against this window for the winter. I think that would help tremendously on this window. And the other windows though, let me see. Yeah, the other windows just get a little bit of condensation. So they're not so bad at all. This one is a major heat loser. Really bad. Now the batteries though are holding, although it's so cold out, uh, they're at 12.8 volts. Boy that display I think has condensation on it too. That was under the window shade. Can you see the monitor? Where's the angle? Okay, trust me, it's 12.8. That's It was under the window shade, so that's probably not a good thing. So the batteries are looking pretty good. Now once I get that heated, it's going to be really good. And I've been really thinking long and hard about how I'm going to do that. And over here, behind the wood stove, I'm going to put a hole in the wall and build a box, an insulated box that goes through and out. And right on into the battery box out here. And then I'll have a computer fan blowing all the time. And... Uh, that is going to do the job, I'm pretty sure. That's going to be really good. So, we'll be working on that again pretty soon here. It's just been snowing constantly, and I don't dare open that with precipitation coming down. It's literally been snowing for days and days and days. And I just don't want to open that box and have all that stuff come down in with the insulated floor and end up wrecking the insulation. It's bitter cold out here. But I gotta get these solar panels cleaned off because the sun is out here today. Well, that was the easiest I've ever had. <laughs> It's all so cold out, it's just fluff. Look at that. I gotta clean the ones for the electronics lab and we'll go in and see what kind of power we're pulling in. I made pathways all the way along. It's only like five inches deep, four or five inches, but that's because uh, it blows across the yard. On the top of the greenhouse, there's like six inches or so. So I got a path to the solar panels, past the electronic slab, wood shop. I want to sweep these off. Well, oh, the wind chill is terrible today. It is cold.
Oh, it's cold. Let's go inside and see what the batteries look like. Probably bad. I think I'll turn on the heater. Oh, 12.4. Not as bad as I thought they would be. I thought they'd be really low. My Bedini motor stopped, but the lubrication gets hardened from the cold, so it's getting really hard for me to keep that running now. But I need to keep that running to keep the batteries underneath from freezing and being harmed. So it's, uh... <laughs> low Fahrenheit. The temperature in here is too low for the thermometer to read. That's the indoor temperature. It just says low. It's too low to read. So it's cold in here. So I'm going to get the heater going. So I got the Bedini going again. Uh, we've only got 20 watts coming in off the solar panels. So that's really pitiful. But it is early morning. So Oops, the door shut on me. We'll see how it goes. I'm not even going to turn on the light. The inverter's off in here. I've got no drain on these batteries at all right now to uh, save them during this. It's 10 tenths cold. Exciting, guys. Okay, it's pitiful, but it's exciting. Um, where is it? 7 point... Boy, this display is terrible. It was 7.5 amps a minute ago. I was told that these displays are not very good to see. 14.3 um, volts? looking very very good today 14.4 um, that is a very nice voltage to see I'm so excited uh, this is the first time well if you can see out there this is the first time we've had semi blue skies in a long time at least for any period of time so once that sun hits the solar panels directly we're gonna be really looking good guys my it's full bright and sunny out, all right? And I'm like, what happened? The um, solar panels went to zero amps, so it went up to like five just a minute ago. I'm like, what happened? Well, this does not show on this meter. Here we go. And I was looking at the state of charge on the batteries, and they had hit 100%. Well, they're at 90. There, they just hit 100% state of charge. The batteries are charged up and the charge controller is reducing the current from 0 to 7 amps as needed just as a maintainer. So anything above and beyond that now would just be bonus. So I've got to get some wires in here and start running some DC power in the house today and start burning some of that energy because I've got 200... Uh, 70 watts of power out there and I'm not even touching it now that's good news finally to have those batteries topped off actually just as I was shutting down the camera the voltage took a dump down so the charging on the batteries just changed instantly so I think I went from um, absorption to float mode it looks like the voltage dropped tremendously and so did the current so I think we're, um, oh, it's fluctuating in there a little bit. 15. This is weird. The voltage is all over the place on here. 25 amps. This is so weird. So we're in a we weird fluctuation mode. Now I just hit zero. Zero amps. So I think what the controller is doing is just putting it in a maintainer mode. It's weird watching how this one sputters around, but it sure is not the TriStar. But it's what I got. Hey guys, zero degrees out there right now. And yes, that is correct. Zero degrees Fahrenheit. Oops, 0 0.2. It is cold out there. Oh boy. Okay guys, I've got 600 videos saved now to my external hard drive. And still going, got 2,000 videos to back up, so it's a really long, ongoing process. Also, I'm not ready to release it quite yet, but I do have some made some serious progress on my own sites, my own websites, so when we're ready for that, we'll let them go. And i uh, been writing some articles on Steam. If you haven't joined me over there on steamit.com, uh, please do, and you can actually earn real money. Right now, I um, I got a payout 
and I'm waiting for it to be uh, ready to transfer over. I um, will explain the entire process later, but I got some money coming over which is going to help pay for some uh, things I got going on, so that's great. And that's from Steemit. So come on over and comment, write articles, upvote people, and make money. It is a social sharing community that pays you. So check it out, guys. And I am not running a commercial. I'm just that happy with it. So I've got to continue on here. And that's pretty much my day right now with it being so better cold outside. And I'm trying to find heat for the wood shop. Actually, I have that wood stove. I'm trying to find some stove pipes for that wood shop. Maybe steam it will pay for my um, materials to get that in there. And I'm going to start doing a lot of woodworking this winter. All right, guys, that's it. I'm just going to carry on until I get all my videos back up. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. See you in the next day. Uh, by the way, videos has been sporadic. I'm sorry. They keep getting blocked from advertising. Um, I do what I can, but I'm not putting them up for free. Uh, Got to pay my bills. Talk to you guys later.